Uh, hey guys, so I've had the flu the past two weeks, which is why I haven't really been doing many videos, uh, but they, they will be coming. Like, I, I know Batman's in there somewhere. I'll, I'll sneak in uh, later in the year. Uh, but anyways, Uncharted 3 just came out, and I got my hands on it, and I'm going to tell you my opinion, as I typically do with these videos. And you're looking for something different. I, I don't know, maybe it's weird if you're looking at these videos for a while. And anyways, uh, Uncharted 3, is it good? Is it bad? Here's my opinion. I know this is going to sound strange, but Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception is actually the third game in this franchise. The Uncharted franchise has always seemed like it wants to be a game that's also like playing a movie. The way they've always done this before is through its heavily scripted, you know, very linear path in the single player campaign, and also just the voice acting and cinematics that are throughout the game. All of it really comes together to try and sell the effect that you're not sitting in your couch playing a video game right now, you are actively participating in this movie, in this Indiana Jones type movie. And maybe I'm just a sucker for it, but it always gets me every time. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. No guns, weapons. He's not really a rug merchant. In Uncharted 3, Nathan Drake is once again trailing after his famous ancestor Sir Francis Drake, trying to find the hidden treasure that he buried like a thousand years ago. And of course, like any good adventure story, it would not be complete without all the action moments and evil protagonist ladies, and all that awesome stuff. Gameplay-wise, not a whole lot has changed, because basically, why would you change it? And like with any sequel, it comes with a, a couple new weapons and some new areas that you find in, but it's pretty much unchanged. Although they did flush out the melee combat a little bit, which is great, because it seems like Nathan Drake gets into a lot of bar fights. And obviously, they brought back the online multiplayer from the second game, because what's a game without online multiplayer these days? I was lucky enough to get myself in the beta early on, like a lot of people, and I played the beta a lot, and so when the game came out, I was actually really excited for the multiplayer. Then I found out that uh, this game has an online pass system, and I rented this game, and there's no like, hey, you don't have an online pass? Well, here's two days free. It's like, what? Oh, you rented this game? Uh, to hell with you, you can't play. I mean, I did play in the beta, so I got my hands on it at least a little bit, so I I'm not too broken up about it. Can't smile without you. I can't smile without you. I can't laugh. I can't sing. I find it hard to do anything. You know, I feel sad when you're sad. The multiplayer is pretty much the same as a single player, only there's more dudes shooting at you and they're actual people instead of AI dudes, but essentially the same stuff anyways. And I have to say, even without the multiplayer, this game still is an incredible package. <laughs> I said package. Uh, that's definitely worth picking up if you have like the $60 to throw down on it. The voice acting is all phenomenal and the cutscenes are great and it looks super pretty and it plays really well and it just, it's overall, it's a really incredible game. The set piece moments when things are falling down or things are on fire, it's always really fun. It's just an incredibly uh, well paced game. In terms of just the campaign, it's fantastic like all the Uncharted campaigns are typically because it's so heavily scripted and so heavily linear which is great because it allows them to really control your experience and deliver the experience they want you to have which is maybe some of you don't like that but I, I love it it's great it, the, the invisible hand guides you through and uh, stuff explodes and it looks pretty and it's it's fantastic in terms of the multiplayer as I said, I didn't get a chance to play it, except I did play it uh, a lot in the beta, and I don't imagine it's changed much since the beta, so I liked it in the beta, but uh, it, overall, it's a fantastic package, definitely one of the better games coming out this year, and if you own a PlayStation 3, get this game. Seriously.